Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokulover, and, uh, yeah. Let's get started right back playing as the Union of Britain. Now, I do remember one comment from Volgaston, or yesterday. And that was, you should play as Austria-Hungary in the Road to 56 mod. Well, that's an interesting idea. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, I'll put it like this. I don't want to play as a communist next. Since we are playing a communist currently, or any... Very hard left ideologies. I don't think that would be too intriguing to watch, but you know, I'm not ruling it out. It's just something I would recommend uh, that I'm not going to do, probably. Oh, nice, Stuttgart. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, just we're already playing communist in this time. Secular Mexico, communist Mexico is cool. I mean, maybe I'll do that. I really don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And are you connected down here? No, you're not. Go to Mühlhausen. By this time, we're going to take out all the German cities and hopefully capitulate the German Reich before they can really inflict more land grabs from the Soviet Union. Oh, anyways, let us get started. We still have no manpower. We're really desperately waiting for more manpower that we really, really just desperately need. Please don't attack. Please. Hmm. And of course, I'm here with a fresh cup of coffee. Oh, baby. This stuff is... No, I have one, one cup of coffee from... Jamaica, and that w that stuff is good. That stuff is good. This also might be from the same pox, or maybe not. I can't remember. It, it might have been from the Caribbean. Is this Hawaiian? No, I don't think it is. I can't remember. It's pretty good, though. It's good stuff. Baron, uh, let's see. We're moving in, we're moving in. I know it's on slow speed, but I got... It's not really easy for me to click the plus minus buttons on my keyboard with the coffee in the way. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, we are really really not good on manpower. Even though we are ass assimilating, no. We are recruiting more manpower. Expand the repair yards. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, hopefully we just capitulate the Germans. I just... Oh, if the Germans are gone, that'd be great. You know, I'm sure I'm not the first person to ever say that in history, though. Uh, do that since these guys are desperately trying to get over here. Why? I mean, there's... There's no point for you to just kill yourself. Please, I don't have the manpower for this either. Please, don't... No! God dang it, I have to take this off then. I can't afford that those manpower losses. Alright, so there's, the Italians are still kind of attacking us. Eh, not, that's not good, but not terrible. We are closing in on more and more German cities, which is great. If you can get across the river, that would be an amazing feat. Uh, come down here, that'd be good. Uh, take half of you, come this way, take another half. Come down here. Alright, just... Yeah, don't come back to the line, please. Please, thank you. Ah, nice, a little bit more manpower. Awesome. Um, we have Königsberg. We almost have all of Prussia, for God's sakes. I love it, but... Come on, Germany. What are you doing? It's not like I'm even trying to reorganize their own line. They're just... This is the AI in itself. <clears throat> Absolute nuts. And I don't think we really need these anymore. I'll build this up in Holland just because we can. And Amsterdam for the capital probably be, would be a good idea, I would argue. But then what do we build from there? Ships? Well, I suppose that would be okay since we do need to repair quite a bit. Hmm. Do that, those two. Airplanes. I think airplanes should be pretty good, but just in case. Langdor, Wurttemberg, and Plock. Uh, radar in the east is actually okay. We could probably do pluck though. And then more oil. Sounds good to me, so we don't have to borrow anyone else's oil. Yorkshire, Northern England. Yeah, just and then Wales. Nothing says Wales like a bunch of oil. Or nothing says oil like a bunch of whales. What the heck am I saying? Oh boy. Uh, just go ahead. Um, yeah, just, just wait for more manpower. That's really it. God, Italy. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're going to try to get Leon back again. Again, but the Italians, they have not very much manpower either. They will get Leon probably back. Uh, even if they do, I'm not really concerned. As long as we hold the line, for the most part, that's what really matters. And if we, and when we lose it, we still have these two areas around here, so. No biggie. Really, the goal is to get rid of the Germans. Well, the Spanish run is pretty, pretty quiet. Pretty darn quiet, as the Soviets are losing more territory, maybe? Probably? Yeah, this area is going to get defeated. Oh my goodness, this manpower loss. Over a million casualties. Germany has 89% of the way towards capitulation. That's great. Super, super good. 
But Italy. Okay, Italy. I didn't even check Italy's. Uh, over a million. And, and personally, how many did I kill? 825, 6,000. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Almost. Took almost all of regular Germany and parts of Switzerland, too. Great. Yeah, they really want Leon. Uh, William Slim, do you have any upgrades? Um, you know, I'm going to give you Ambusher for more entrenchment and recon bonus while entrenched just because you're getting the loving snot beaten out of you, and I don't want you to lose the city. I mean, if you do, it's no, no biggie. But just don't lose the city. Man, they are just killing our manpower off. And the Germans are once again attacking, even though I'm kind of surprised that our singular divisions are holding up fairly well. I mean, one division versus a bunch of these, I mean, they are attacking over a river. All this division's losing it. That is not good. We're going to probably redeploy the line here. How much manpower does Germany even have? They are on scraping the barrel, but they have none extra. That's good. Leon has still not fallen, but it probably will fall soon. Manpower seems to be stable. Could do war bonds. Could do a lot of things. Could do a lot of things. Oh yeah, they just they just love attacking. Spanish, oh yeah, the Spanish attack. That's our main goal. Our main goal in this episode is to just hold on to Königsberg, of course. But to <clears throat> get rid of the enemy's capacity for war. That basically means make sure that they run out of guns, artillery, and that type of stuff. Spanish people are losing a bunch of men. The Italians are, have a little bit of manpower as well as the Germans have none. Very good. And I don't want to use up my precious manpower. Ah, better artillery. Nothing says greatness like better artillery. I'll put, actually, you know what? For once in my life, I'm not going to do these immediately because we already have a very good solid amount of military equipment minus fighters and close air support, which we don't even really need fighters. So, and instead... Let's get some more infantry defense, since we have a lot of infantry divisions, and some better artillery pieces. Oh, we need better uh, medium tanks as well. Oh, they are attacking us over here. Huh. Luigi Bava Bacaris. Alright. Wow, Italy, you are really just hammering me away. You've killed all those guys you just had. You had like 50,000 people in reserves, but you just killed them off. And the Zimbabwean Democratic Republic has capitulated. Uh, oh, boy. Italy, you're thick in it down there. Over here, you're you're okay. Not not really impressive, but not too bad. So have Koenigsberg. That's good. That's good. You still have Koenigsberg. Um, obvious, obviously, there are places that we could attack that might be pretty beneficial for us. We could take small attacks. Small, small attacks. Send you this way, just in case. Send one division here as well. That's good. Nuremberg. Well, we might have some trials there going on eventually. Uh, that'll be good to do. Yeah. If they abandon the line, I mean, it's free real estate. Quite literally. Go and go there. Send another two over here. Yeah, Germany is will capitulate this way, probably. Uh, don't send all... But send, okay, send all of them. Okay, then. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Germany. I know Königsberg is British now, but... Holy crap. I know you need to defend over here, and the Soviets... We're getting pretty close to the Soviets, honestly. Not We're not, like, super close, but we're getting close enough. Send one that way. Send another group that way. Send one this way as well. And send one over here. Uh, three divisions. Probably can take those guys out. Divide this up in half. And then, yeah. Germany, you don't need divisions, right? Yeah, divisions are a lie. Just remember that. They are an absolute lie, and honestly, we could probably get rid of one of these oils. There we go. Pretty good on rubber, because we are building up more refineries. We finally look like we might just have enough manpower to satisfy everyone's needs. And boy, does everyone have needs. Uh, maybe not. We only have 6,000. I could be wrong. I've been wrong about things before. But whatever. Oh, I, I know I was wrong again. Okay, then. Mm, yes, yes, Germany. To Italy, you were just special. And then again, Italy is always special. Oh, okay, you got you got like about 60 guys. You're not quite on scraping the barrel yet, Italy, but keep trying it. Keep trying it. It'll work eventually. Maybe. This general, William Slim, he's level, oh my god, level 6 already. Jesus. Guerrilla fighter might be good as well for even faster entrenchment speed. You know what, let's do that. I never use Gorilla Fighter, but since he's getting attacked so much, these guys are probably already pretty 
Oh, th are they entrenched? Oh, no, no, they're not. Huh. Come on, hold out. Hold out. Oh, and the Germans are trying a desperate front-wide attack. Wow. We couldn't get quite get this place, but that's okay. One division's holding out, but we can't pierce them. Two divisions are losing it over here. You know what? Let's build up Königsberg. Alan Cunningham wounded. Uh, I doubt, I doubt we would hold that, but whatever. Um, this would probably bite us in the butt once I capture this area, but whatever. Keep Königsberg. I want Königsberg definitely. Oil is still looking very, very good. Actually, uh, I don't. Oh, we have a little bit of manpower, not a bunch. I can't believe... Look at... We've been doing so well, but I don't really have that many planes. But that's about a change. Go ahead and add them up here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need a... I'm going to need a lot of puppets, basically, to do this. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. 400... Maybe add a few tactical bombers. Heavy fighter twos, bow fighters. Yeah, we have those. Tactical bombers are okay. Blenheimers. Yeah, we don't really have that many um, close air support or tactical bombers. So g give me another 200 of these guys. Alright. If we lose a province or two, whatever. Not a real big deal. I just want to make sure that all of this is taken care of first. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, it's like one, two. Come over here. One, two. You have no... Nothing over there. One, two. That's good. One, two. Come over here. And then one, two. That gives them some sort of coverage. Some sort. Uh, let's do that as well. Why not? I could use more heavy fighters. As well as tactical bombers. Do we really have that many tactical bombers? I doubt it. I mean, maybe all together. Got a hundred here. 200 interwar bombers, which really isn't that great. Interwar. Whatever. Close enough, and I will deploy them soon enough. Okay, Italy. I mean, I'm not even attacking you. You're just so scared of me attacking you that you're attacking out of fear at this point. Ah, very good. Oh, did I actually lose a division? Huh. Oh, this guy... Miles Dempsey is so experienced. He's got level or skill level 8 attack. Jesus Christ. My goodness. That's impressive. And of course, we got a lot of sabotage, a lot of resistance, but I don't really care. I don't need their factories that much. Not really. Richard O'Connor. William Slim. Nichi Real. Or Neil Richie. Whoopsie. Slightly dyslexic, huh? Yeah, well, maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. It just comes naturally to me. Uh, let's see, that's pretty good. Uh, the Soviets... Oh, well, the defense of Leningrad is not going too badly. Because it's not even being attacked. Wow, the Soviets are actually coming back a little bit. Uh, I probably would say it's because we probably have a bunch of Germans at my border as well. That are... Well, we're just kind of stalling. Gotta love it, right? And Germany themselves, I mean... When you're not scraping the barrel. And you got a good number of factories... But no manpower, like, oh, god dang it. I'm going to have to probably go to all adult serve after this. Because when we go to war with the Soviets, oh my goodness, no, no, no. That's going to be a poop show, what some people call that. When it all hits the fan. And it will. Oh, five divisions around there. Uh, wow, eight divisions here? Well, I forgot the Hungarians were even in the war. Uh, that's fine, come up here. We're going to try to move out again. Probably not going to happen too successfully. But we can try. Allenstein! Hello there! Hello there, Allenstein! I hope you're doing well. I hope you mind, don't mind getting taken over. Uh, you know what? My god, William Slim. They will they will write textbooks about you and how great you were. Oh, you're not dead yet, but they will write textbooks about you. Oh, a 1940s heavy ship hull! What the heck is this? Why well, am I talking Swedish now? Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade it and start actually making this stuff. Yeah, I always go with these launchers. I think they're pretty good. Heavy stuff. Yeah, don't want this. Makes you a little faster, but... Eh. We already have three cannons on these guys? My goodness. That's that's not enough, right? That's not enough. I want more cannons. we got a lot of heavy attack. Heavy piercing's pretty good. Uh, before we do that, we have three heavy cannons. We don't have any anti-air, which is pretty weak. Secondary batteries. Honestly, for light attack... 
defend against defend capital ships against destroyers and torpedo boats. I mean, one hit from a heavy attack will just blow them up in the water. Let's go with hmm, anti-air. Actually, might be worth it for this. Oh, but it slows us down by a little bit, and we're already pretty slow. Screw it. Let's go with secondary attack. Because I don't want another cannon, because we already have another cannon down here, which is already very, very good. Anti-air is only level 2. Fire control. This would make us more reliable, but give us less attack and piercing. Whatever. Radar level 3 is very good. Better engine. Make us quite a bit faster. And then, better armor. We're battleship armor 3. This is what I don't like about this armor thing right here. You go with armor 1, armor 2... And armor 3. So this is okay, but when you get to, like, it just feels like this could have been displayed better. Like, this column is for armor, or battleship armor. This other column is for battlecruiser armor, because right now, you're like, oh, I'll go down the line. That should be the next best armor. Nope. It should be 1, 2, 3, not 1, 2, 3, you know. 1, 2, 3 going down, instead of 1, 2, 3 going to the right, and then back left. That makes no sense. Uh, this would just give us... More more HP. Oh, and definitely some better armor. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Yeah, that's what I'd like to see. And yes, definitely make this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Put it in the... Was that the home fleet we had? I think that was the home fleet. Or the high seas fleet? I can't remember. Uh, Home fleet, Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Oh, I got extra subs. Greater London area. United Kingdom. Oh, task force fleet. Which we, oh, we have five carriers. Oh, my goodness. Ah, love it, the coffee. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and move you. Detach you. Move you in with one of these groups. What about you? You already have a battleship. You have a battleship. You already have a carrier. Battle cruiser, yeah, we can put that. Oh, this already has a heavy cruiser, too. So these guys got hit really badly. Two light cruisers. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, two heavy cruisers and two light cruisers. Oh, there. Oh, nice. Uh, how many people have you killed? Level five? Jesus. Oh, they only killed one. Oh, well then. Uh, well. Where's the weakest one? Not bad. Not bad. Actually, these guys are my kind of convoys, moving things around stuff. Screw it, we'll just put it, you here. You go home, you come here, you come here. Just make sure that you do it carefully. Combine those two, since you already have four carriers in one group. And then this group was actually called the United Kingdom's Task Force One. Let's make sure we assign these people to the right area. United Kingdom Strike Force One. Reserve Fleet One. United Kingdom, which we really aren't the United Kingdom anymore. Task Force One. Strike Force One? Task Force One. Task Force One. Yeah, I did that right. Whew, yeah, I did. Whew, sorry about that. Alright. Well, actually, that means we can already upgrade these engines when they are... Uh, and increase this, too. When they are... When we're done with this war, which would be great... Uh, let's see, destroyers. I don't think I can upgrade my destroyers anymore just yet. That stuff is still pretty good. Sonar. Yep, that's what I thought. Well, we have enough... Do we have enough screens? Where are our spare screens? 20 extra thingies here. Wow, that's a lot of screens. Subs? Not too bad. Go ahead and combine. Um, it's over here. More patrols. That's That's okay. Yeah, I'll divide these these ships over here, my reserve screens, into this fleet between this episode and the next. But, in all honesty, well, you know what? I'm thinking, let's just make another one. Yeah, it costs a lot of manpower, but whatever. But this one will go to the Greater London area instead of the Strike Force fleet. Oh, we still have an extra one. Uh, 15 is pretty good. Where are my convoys? Oh, we already have max out. Jesus Christ. Well, man, we're doing well. We're doing very well now with fleet stuff, for the most part. Let's go ahead and get another destroyer in there. Do that. There you go. 
Not even using all these guys. You know what? Screw it. You guys can probably train. Go ahead and train. No one no one will bother you. Probably. God, I hope so. Alright, who wants to get who wants to attack me? I am a beautiful person that just loves getting attacked. Okay, that's weird to say, but whatever. Carl's bad? Well, German's bad. At least in this video. Oh, look at some sort of offensives going on where the Soviet or the Ger German offensive is. I want to say it's a Soviet offensive because that looks really cool. That's so many battles going on at once. I love it. I'll just... Oh. Ch Ch Japan? Um, China's getting a little, uh... A little... Oh, God, I don't want to... Be... I don't want to make it too obvious, but it looks like China's getting a little thicker. A little, uh, happy down under. Well, not that down under, but getting a little happier down here, if you know what I mean. Oh, man, but Qing China looks like it's not doing terrible. It looks like their capital city is a frontline city, which, of course, isn't good for them, but whatever. But whatever. What they do does not matter to me. All right. Any more places we can just take from the AI? Because the AI is very special. Ah, yes, please keep attacking. I appreciate it. So does George Gifford. He's done so many battles that he's already almost a skilled staffer. 93% of the way there. Good job, George. We'll probably give you a medal or something by the time this war ends. And are we finally going to lose Lyon? The word is yes. But my heart says perhaps not. Oh. Oh. All s adults serve 23,000 manpower. And we finally have enough manpower where I can say, whew, thank God. Oh, yeah. Do we have these guys? Yeah, we do. Cut these guys in half. Bomb the hell out of them. Uh, I don't know where to put you. Just go here or something. Very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't like this. Go ahead and throw this division in here because you're pretty strong still. William Slim. What a jolly fellow. Are those Venezuelans? There's Venezuelans here. I thought I heard a little bit of Spanish. God dang, Venezuelans. How much more... Okay, so we got a while until we are fully mobilized for population. Oh, they are attacking Königsberg like there is no tomorrow. Oh, they're trying to break through Prussia here. Oh, that is not good. Not good one beat. Yeah, don't let him attack too much. Germany, what are you doing? Zero. Well, Soviets, please hurry up with your offensives if you're doing it. Oh, nice. Little encirclement. Yeah, I think the Soviets are definitely starting to strike back now. <laughs> Soviet strike back. Very cool. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are pretty... Kind of, honestly, overextended a little bit here. Uh, how many... You have no land forts. That's quite a few divisions. Yeah, I don't want to attack. Mexican... No, we lost them to the Comintern. No! The Mexican Soviet Republic joined the Comintern. How dare you, Mexico? I said that you could nationalize the oil fields. And this is how you repay me. By joining the Comintern. Why not the glorious British Communist Alternative? Absolute pieces of garbage. But we don't want to say that to them too much yet. We don't want to call Mexico garbage until it, until we're at war with them, really. Uh, actually, right now, you know what? I'm going to give Leinster back. I don't know how to pronounce this place, so. And why am I doing that? Well, must be because it's a core population state. And Ireland, you've suffered some losses before. And I want to make sure that you are duly compensated for your time here. <sighs> Why'd they have to join that group? Why? I'm really surprised Spain has not attacked as crazily as the Italians have. I wanted to drain Spain of their resources, but it looks like it is not happening. Definitely do that. Uh, looks like we have maybe a minor breach up here. Poznan. Poznan. Don't let him move. Don't let him move. And take this spot back. Oh, more political power. So, we don't need to raise our conscription levels yet because we get up to 10%. And we're only at 6.8. I could go with total mobilization, but that would hurt our population. Hmm, communist revolutionary. Is there anything that could directly help our soldiers on the ground right now? More war support, daily communism support. Ooh, 2 more percent recruitable population, but I really don't have the stability for that. Yeah, I need more stability before I would even think about doing that. Aircraft designer. Oh, wait. Military staff. Here we go. More pfft, defensive doctrine. I should have done that one earlier. 
Army Logistics. Oh, wait, what's over here? Material Designer gives you better speed at researching things, but whatever. Um, yeah. Screen, submarines. Uh, air superiority should be good. Eh, let's go with that defensive guy. Edmund Ironside. Ah, see, he, he can't get through anybody named Ironside. So we get even more defense now. Germany. Sin Kyung has called the Mexican Soviet Republic into the war against these peoples. All right, then. And unfortunately, after this war, I will have to give some territory to the Soviets. Probably, but the Soviets aren't really even close to being in Romania again. Or anything like that. I'm really tempted to move my tanks' divisions out of here. And move them somewhere close, so they can have a good time. Wow, Italy. You've been killing your, your people off so hard. I mean, look at these divisions. And they're still attacking over a river! To a numerically superior defense! My goodness, what is wrong with you? Didn't your papi ever tell you not to attack with so few men? I guess not. Oh, that's a lot of divisions there. Not a lot of divisions I can attack with. Uh, Allenstein. Yeah, the Germans are just... They're special people. They're very special. We love all the Germans, especially the... The crazy Germans. 28 divisions, my goodness. Yeah, I mean... Now that we have a single division defending Leon... Oh. William Slim, hello! Do you have an improved expert? Oh, level 6. Very interesting, very cool. You are so... Strong at doing what you do. Oh, another division popped in there, but now he's an urban assault specialist. More defense, more attack, and more movement. Alright, kids. We've not been on the offensives for quite a long time. Uh, cool it off with this. Could we come over here and push through this area? Because it doesn't look like the Spanish have really decided to do anything. Then again, I guess they're taking a daily, weekly, monthly siesta in Germany. <sighs> Look, I know you've been... I'm not going to say the S-word. But you've been disappearing your soldiers for a while. You've been just running into my front lines for so long that your guys are nowhere to be seen in some locations. I wish the Spanish would do the same. Honestly, could we actually maybe push in here? I would love that so much right now. This could actually help Leon if we actually take this area, too, so. You know what, send one division help out from Leon. Alright, tanks, you good to go? Almost ready, almost ready. And we will strike here first. And then do that. That's good, that's good. The Royal Tank Regiment. Awesome. Go ahead and take this group out. Uh, actually... Yeah, ooh, man, that lag. I know I'm processing another video for another channel, but my goodness. Yeah, sure, non-aggression pack right now sounds pretty good. Two more divisions, great. Throw you, actually, throw you both under this army, because I don't know where you're at, but you've lost two divisions, that's not good. Hmm, tasty. Go ahead and t teach him who's boss. And if you can't get down to Girona. Yeah, go and do that as well. Oh, they are attacking us a little bit. Oh, but we get the Bren Mark III and ML 4.2 inch mortars. Very good. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Yes, don't forget the comments. So then I can get even better tanks when I get and give them even more armor. Better. Oh, we actually have logistic companies. Watch out, guys. And now we can get maintenance companies, uh, recon companies, oh, oh my goodness, there's so much I want to do. More artillery support. And this is probably going to kill my manpower off if I put logistic companies on here. Oh, less fuel usage, less supply. Honestly, I really don't need logistic companies right now because we're not really doing that on there. Tank brigades, I must do this though. Absolutely must put a logistic company on them. Just because they can, with at being 40 width be quite the drain. Ah, and this, we found the Spanish divisions. They're just hiding. Awesome. Gets the Spanish army waking up maybe a little bit more. Tell them what to do. Oh my gosh, there were eight divisions here before. Now there are none. The Soviets are a very mixed bag. I mean, earlier, the, the Leningrad wasn't a frontline city, but now it is. But now the center has definitely pushed up, while the south portion has also pushed up as well. 
I mean, come on, guys. Make up your mind. Defend a position or not, or just, you know, just go bye-bye. Or just go bye-bye. That's all you have to do. Go bye-bye. One division is holding out against a whole bunch of others. Sounds pretty normal. Let's do that one next. Uh, William Gut, you're definitely going to get your uh, keep here. Uh, how many divisions are you fighting against? Seven. Wow. Let's go ahead and see if we can push into the tank. Or the tank. The uh, the manual fleshy tanks called cavalry right there. Very good. Push into there if you can. And Because I want to get to the mountains as a defensive spot, but we do have this area around here in Catalonia that we could use our tanks to... Oh, there's mines. Use our tanks to defend and eventually push through here once we drain, hopefully, the Spanish of their resources. Oh, no, they're doing paramilitarism, so they're going to get a crap ton more manpower. Ah, oh, but the Soviets are definitely mixed. Definitely mixed in the Soviet land. But we're getting very close to Praha. Awesome. Okay, bye, Germans. I'm totally not going to exploit the line here. Totally not. You say open hole, I say go right in. Oh. Oh. Well then. Uh, what are we not making? Close air support? F oh, fighters. Oh, we're out of fighters. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's not the button for fighters. This is the button for fighters. I don't even really use fighters anymore. I mean, I will make some. But I really don't want to make that many. Just enough so that we have enough. I guess for the ones that we already use. But I'm not really too concerned about it. Obviously. Uh, God dang it, AI. What the heck? <sighs> Keep those guys busy. Come down to Zerk as well. Just break in, break in. That's a lot of divisions right there. Augsburg, eh, it's a little too hard to break into there. Richard O'Connor, you got anything good for me? Any good news? No? All right, sir. Oh, we pushed over here, so this line is looking very delightful. And the Spanish still don't like us down here. Which is fine. We didn't really care for them either. Allenstein, still a mess. Königsberg, kind of a mess. Move up, move up. We got some horses. Oh. Yeah, good enough. Go there. Three divisions. Liebach. Uh, Ace pilot promoted. Very cool, very cool. Three divisions there. Yeah, yeah, might as well try to do that. Send one division there, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Germany is super close to capitulating. They are 90% of the way. Actually, not that much closer than when we started this episode, but we've done some things. Oh, we gotta go with nuclear tech. We, there's no debate. Gotta go with that. Gotta get it. Get that nuclear technology. Alright, let's kind of concentrate our tank divisions here, because we will be trying to get Barcelona very soon. They are attacking other divisions up here, though. Yeah, they're not gonna win against these guys. No way, man. No way, Jose. Some of these... Spanish soldiers might actually be called Jose, but still. Hmm. Anything interesting to talk about? Along the line? Not really. Except that the Soviets are tr trying to make a comeback as... Oh! They're actually pushing down in Qing China. Now, it looks like the Japanese have pretty much given up or something. Japan, what's your manpower like? Not good. Not bad, but not good. Um, China? Oh, it's, actu it's actually China now. Since we've had regular China, we've had Zaibi San Ma, we've had Yunnan, we've had Guanzi Clique. Almost every China to China itself. I mean, that's ridiculous, China. God dang it, China. China's just a special god tier weirdo class that sucks in the beginning, but ends up being like one of the world's powers. I don't know. I don't know about that fanfiction, but whatever. Um, yeah, we're still getting attacked. That's a lot of divisions, but what if happens if we attack with a lot of divisions? Tanky boy, don't do that. Not up there. Uh, the tanky boys probably will need an extra little boost, though, to help get rid of some of these pesky Spanish uh, pests. Awesome, we took the spot. Go straight for Barcelona. God dang it. If we can get Barcelona, that would be a major win for us in my book. Just to show that, you know what, Spain? You cannot hold out against us. You went to war with us, and we will show you why you should not have. Yeah, we have really not done very much over here. Just because we don't really have the divisions for it. Italy, keep keep hitting me. Keep striking against me. I will enjoy everything you do against me. I will enjoy it. Maybe. Oh, man. They are desperately... They didn't like it that we took out Barcelona. 
They really didn't like that. But, like all good things, things must come to an eventual end. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. We have expanded all the way a little closer to Italy. We are much closer to taking out the Germans by 1%. Next episode, we should be able to capitulate the Germans if I know what I'm doing. Maybe even get further into España here. And maybe see the Soviets actually get rid of the Japanese in mainland Asia. So with that in mind, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow, as always, as your humble great host. <laughs> oh man, Mr. Mokalever. See you tomorrow, guys.